involved in the masterclass and uh, so I was part of Rachel's um, Power of Eight group. And it's just made me kind of look at this sort of serendipity, the things that have been happening. I am so grateful in life to be part of a Power of Eight group. And, um, and that group has met regularly um, up until recently, we've just had a few blips. But what I didn't know, um, once I'd been to the retreat at Broughton, one of the things that I remembered was an exercise that we did where we had to sit opposite someone and we were speaking um, about something that was bothering us about another person and they gave back a different they they were that person and fed back a perspective mm -hmm. of you know what it could be and it made such a profound difference to a relationship with my father that wasn't an active relationship because I didn't see him all the time because of such a, a horrific sort of childhood stuff that went on but some healing took place in the way that I now felt about it and him and what I could write and journal about um and he he died in January and um I always thought it would be really difficult and I'd be left with lots of kind of unpleasant feelings, but I don't have that experience now at all. It just feels as if I was able to um, wish him a safe journey and freedom from all his past traumas um, that he went through and forgive him and sort of release myself from this, that I didn't have to live carrying the stuff that I've been carrying. So that was one ex that was one experience. The other thing to share, which I, I don't know if I can, my um, I lost my son in November. Mm. It was sudden, yeah, it was sudden and tragic. And um, my Power of Eight group has supported me when I've been in the group or not in the group, and also my other, you know, my other children. They've supported everybody and considering it really doesn't feel like I'm sure the people other people in my life probably feel like it's an event that happened and you know they like everyone moves on and kind of gets on with their lives but for me it's still just you know it's raw but I have such a well one was what Jeff had touched on about about death you know it's like I um I knew there was something not right that day I didn't know what it was but there was something really really deep within my core and then I and then I found out, heard the news that Edward had died. Um, but I've had such a connection with him. Um, lots of amazing experiences um, in his energy and feeling him. And um, with the help of my Power of Eight group, my other children have gone on to do things. I, I mean, I couldn't have imagined the types of things they've gone on to do in life that probably wouldn't have happened if this series of events hadn't sort of taken place. I mean, maybe even if, maybe even if Edward hadn't died, these things wouldn't have happened, but definitely with the support of the intentions from Power of Eight groups, some just incredible things have happened.